I knew that the Alliance would flourish on Odessan, but I didn't expect this place to feel so much like home. You should be proud of what you've built here, and the allies you've gained. I couldn't have done it without you. You give me too much credit. The Alliance is still a formidable power, but we're not strong enough to face the Republic or the Empire. Unfortunately, a confrontation is inevitable. There are skirmishes in wild space, riots on Quesh. Galactic war is imminent. We can no longer afford neutrality. If the Alliance is to survive, we must align ourselves with the Republic or the Empire. Whatever you decide, we'll follow your lead. Either way, we'll alienate half of the Alliance. Unlikely. You're not the only one who benefits from a network of brilliant tacticians, experienced force users, and underworld contacts. So who do you wish to support? The Republic or the Empire? It's time I got back to the Republic. Understood. I'll assist however I can. I'll reach out to my contacts in the SIS. I expect they'll contact you directly. You'd love the Corellian Sector. Best Starshine surprise on Nar Shadda. First round is on me. You finally made it. Could you bring me another K3? Wait, make that two. Well, if it isn't the commander of the most popular club in the galaxy. Welcome to my second favorite cantina. Jonas Balker, Republic, SIS. With a face like yours, it's no wonder half the galaxy signed up for the Alliance. Nice to meet you, Jonas. Pleasure's all mine. Really. I'm glad you came to see me. The Republic and the Alliance have similar goals, and I think this partnership will benefit us both. A war is coming, whether we like it or not. We need to be prepared, and that means keeping fuel, food supplies, and raw materials out of Imperial hands. But more importantly, we need you to help put a positive spin on the whole thing. Flash your winning smile. Inspire the troops. The usual. Wouldn't it be simpler to merge the Alliance with the Republic? Unfortunately, some of your friends have quite a history with the Republic. They're valuable allies, but it'll take some time before we can entrust them with confidential operations. Sparks are flying on Osis, off in the Outer Rim. With a little help from you and the Alliance, the Republic could gain the upper hand. I'll make a few calls, set plans in motion. We should have more details once you're back on Odessin. Welcome back to the Republic, Commander. Commander, thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Ardenando Dipolis Derun. I oversee the Republic's deployments along the Parlimian Hyper Route. I only wish we were speaking in person. I just brewed a truly invigorating blend of Gatiland and tea. Do you enjoy tea, Commander? I do. I'm not sure I've tried that particular blend, though. I'll have a taste sent to you. The flavor is unmatched, though I'm told it can only truly be appreciated when shared. A beautiful planet, Gatalenta. Its people are renowned for their long and steadfast support of the Jedi. It is the Jedi I wish to discuss with you today. I'm afraid I haven't been in contact with the Jedi Order in some time. You are not alone in that. Few Jedi survived the war against Sakul. They've gone into hiding, scattered across the galaxy. 
I'm not even sure how many council members remain. I had heard that the war was particularly hard on the Jedi. Such a tragedy. I couldn't agree more. The Jedi are the soul of the Republic. We couldn't survive without them. I did manage to learn of one surviving member of the Jedi Council. Master Nostaral. My sources tell me he's in hiding, on the planet Osus. The ancient home of the Jedi. All but destroyed by the Sith centuries ago. Indeed. I'm told that Master Nostaral took as many Jedi as possible, along with civilian volunteers, to establish a hidden colony on the planet. Unfortunately, the colony doesn't seem to be hidden any longer. I've tracked Imperial forces moving through the area. I believe the Jedi are in grave danger. What's the best way to help them, General? I knew you were the one to contact. The Jedi colony is completely off the grid, and any warning I try to send will only lead the Sith directly to them. Osis is at the far end of the Parlemian hyperroute, practically the Empire's front door. I have no official authority to intervene. I'm gathering the resources to launch reinforcements regardless. But without authorization, it's taking time. Time the Jedi may not have. You aren't bound by Republic regulations. You can help faster than I can. Please, travel to Osis. Protect the Jedi until my forces can arrive. They need our help. I'll head for Osis right away, General. You can count on me. I'm very glad to hear it. I'll forward the coordinates for the Jedi settlement. There is one final catch. Initially, you must go with a light force, perhaps even alone. Approaching with an attack group of any significance is sure to provoke a massive Imperial escalation long before I can respond in kind. The Empire won't know I'm there until it's too late. May the Force be with you, Commander. I hope to be sharing the next cup with you in person very soon. Likewise, General. The General is very shrewd. Going in alone is the best move here. I'll have a shuttle prepared, something small and stealthy. Wish I could go along. Nostaral is an old friend of mine. It'd be good to see him again. We'll have you on your way to Osis as soon as possible. May the Force serve you well. It's you! It's really you! All right! Nadia, cancel the whole evacuation. I don't care what's coming for us. We have got nothing to worry about. <laughs> He's wonderful at introductions, isn't he? I'm Nadia Gurel. You were the Battlemaster, weren't you? Back before Zakul invaded? Yes, that's right. Toughest Jedi I ever knew. We took on things you could never even imagine. Are you hearing me? I don't care how many imps are here. They're toast. So you know about the Imperials? Yes. We don't know how many there are, but they have serious resources. If they're here, it's for a major fight, and we can't afford to give them one. Civilians and non-essentials are loading up first. Who calls a doctor non-essential when there's a fight brewing? You ask me, the Jedi have lost their minds. How exactly did you get mixed up in all this? I got split up from Kira and Scourge. Long story. So I went to find other Jedi. Seem like the best odds of catching up with them. 
or you eventually. I heard about the colony after it was already built, so I was a latecomer. But they were happy to have a full-time doctor on staff. Well, that was before we got to know him. Dr. Kimball, Nadia, how go the shuttle preparations? We'd be a lot further along if we hadn't borrowed so many of the shuttle's parts for the colony systems. It's going to be hours before we can launch. We should be calling the whole thing off. Do you know who this is? Hero of Tython, Slayer of the Emperor? Ring any bells? I command the Alliance now. We overthrew the Eternal Empire and destroyed the Sith Emperor once and for all. I've come to help. Well, sounds like a lot's happened since we cut our communications. Which helped to keep us hidden all this time. I am quite familiar with your past service to the Jedi, Commander. And I look forward to updating my journals with your more recent exploits. It's probably time you had a chapter all your own, but that will have to wait. The Sith are on our doorstep. I formed this colony to safeguard the Jedi and their teachings for the future. Now, we must abandon it to serve that same goal. Republic reinforcements are coming. We just have to hold out until they get here. We welcome any help they can offer. But until they arrive, our plan must remain the same. We have to get these shuttles ready as soon as possible. Do you have a new hiding place in mind? Somewhere further, more remote. I once read claims of a forgotten Jedi world deep within the unknown regions. Perhaps we'll seek it out. Perimeter alarms. They're coming again. I'm on my way to handle it. Hmm. Yes. Take backup this time. Backup? I got all the backup I need right here. Commander, this is Tau Adair, our head of security. Would you be willing to join her in holding off the enemy as we complete our preparations? Could I bring Doc along as well? We make a great team. Tau, what do you think? Sensors aren't picking up a major push. Could even be a feint, so we shouldn't overcommit. Either way, sending the two of us is overkill already. Doc and Nadia should help cover the farming crews. We'll leave you to it then. May the Force be with you. I'll find you later. I've got to hear what you've been up to. What did your sensors pick up? Imperial soldiers? Sith? Neither. The imps are just toying with us. The old man's pretty sure they're being led by a Sith named Melora. Melora's into biology. Genetic manipulation, Sith alchemy, blah, blah, blah. She makes monsters. For us, she's cooked up some kind of mutated Geonosians. Hyper-aggressive, heavily armored, psychotic Geonosians. With weapons. Making their way toward the colony in swarms. You said Nostoral had an idea about who's running the operation. Melora? He's got profiles in all of the major Sith, their specialties, favorite meals, everything. If he says it's Melora, odds are he's right. She doesn't care about strategy or conquest. She wants to control life itself. For Melora, war is just a test for her creations. Osis is riddled with old buried ruins. The mutants like to cut through them to approach unseen. We get out there and collapse a few tunnels. They'll be cut off and the colonists will have a lot more time to move. Then let's get to it. After you, Commander.
How long have you been living at the colony? Since the beginning. Almost five years now. Five years of peace and quiet. We had a good run. Of course, it took me nearly two of those years just to relax. I was sure someone would show up looking for blood. They always do. We honestly aren't sure. After the Republic surrendered, the old man didn't want to risk getting an accurate count with names in case the cool got a hold of it. So we all went to ground to watch, wait, and rebuild. Not my first choice, but I see the wisdom in it. There were still contingents on Tython and Ilum last we checked. Didn't bother calling the Green Jedi, they'd never leave Corellia. Most are probably hiding in groups on far off planets like we did, or walking their own paths, following the Force. That was my plan, originally. Who changed your mind? The old man. He's always understood me best. He convinced me that this was where I needed to be, and I think he was right. <laughs>
take one more look around before we set off the charges. There's gotta be something here the old man would want. Judging by your technique, you must have done a lot of fighting before you came here. More than most, more than they ever trained us for. My first battle was Corellia. I flew in on a transport with five of the Jedi, one of the ones with the open sides, you know. The pilot took us in low between the buildings. We're in midair, and this Sith Lord, he just jumps right into the transport. Red lightsaber in each hand. Five of my oldest friends were dead before they could even blink. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Everyone always is. The Sith had turned toward the pilot before my friends even hit the floor. I was behind him before he ever knew I was there. I nailed him with both hands. Hit the nerve clusters that run just over the ribs. Felt them crack. He dropped both lightsabers on reflex. I, I don't remember where the grenade came from. Must have been his. I smashed it right into his mouth and shoved him back out of the transport. He was a killer. You had to stop him. Yes. And somehow, I keep ending up in that same situation. Again, and again. Let's check in with the old man. Dal, what's your status? We've closed all the tunnels we could find. Sending coordinates now. Any chance you could backtrack to their source on some of the old maps? Of course. Let's see. Yes, here we are. They were all part of a residential structure that must have largely collapsed centuries ago. I'm sending coordinates for the structure's main entrance. If you can seal that, the mutants' hidden approaches will be cut off completely. Do you have the evacuation shuttles ready yet? They're close, and we have most of the essentials packed and ready. Keep up the good work on your end, and we'll have nothing to worry about. The entrance you're closing is located in an area our archaeologists never fully cataloged. If you find anything of interest, please do your best to recover it. Will do. Tau out. Ready when you are. was a beautiful planet once, one of the cultural centers of the galaxy, till the Sith destroyed it. And now they're back. They already cooked the whole planet with a supernova. Not sure how they're planning to top that.
Were there any survivors after the supernova? I think there were, and I'm pretty sure they're still here. The old man agrees, but most of the others aren't convinced. What makes you so sure? Every time we've dug into the deeper chambers of the old ruins, weird things have happened. Tools and lights going missing. We find footprints in the sand where nobody's walked. That kind of stuff. I can just feel that there's some kind of life here apart from us. Whoever it is, they're staying hidden. Probably the smart move.
was the plan? If the Sith had never shown up, what was the goal for the colony? Recover enough territory that we could grow crops and sustain more people. Then go find the people. I would have set out with a team to find other Jedi and bring them back here if they chose. We would rebuild the Order. Instead, looks like we're back to war. More of them. A lot more. There must be an army of them below us. <laughs> Keep your distance when the warriors go down. They're putting off some kind of force. It seems weaker when we take down the warriors. Focus on the swarm. Looks like we're finished here. I can't get the old man on the hollow. We'd better head back and make sure nothing's happened. 